We're going to find out why CoreLogic is stating that the reason Home Depot and Lowe's are doing so well in this recessionary market is because there is trillions of dollars in tappable equity in people's homes. I want to go through all that and more and explain to you why home building and home renovating, which typically run in parallel to each other, are seeing this paradigm shift. And now it's new construction versus home renovation competing against each other for market trends. How does the Federal Reserve and everything that happened in the December meeting affect all of this according to the National Association of Home Builders? I want to go through all that and more and explain to you at the end of this video exactly how Home Depot and Lowe's are faring into 2023, their market predictions, and what's happening in the home renovation industry and explain to you how we got there and what the core reason for all of this actually exists. So according to the National Association of Home Builders, right now, the, US, um, the, U the United States enters into a macroeconomic maze. Now, what is this macroeconomic maze? What is it made up of? And why are they calling it an, a maze in the first place? Are we going through these unprecedented channels that we don't know where we're going? Or is there direction that we can take that we're actually just migrating through uncharted territory, but we actually have a direction that we're going? Now, according to the feds, and everything that they're doing, they are starting to see slight softening in inflation right now. So we're seeing CPI rose by over 7.1% in November, following a 7.5% increase in CPI in October. So the core CPI right now has increased by 6% over the past 12 months. Now, when we look at that, we compare this to the labor and employment market which right now the labor and employment market is still extremely stronger than we would anticipate in a recessionary market. And there's a lot of contributing factors to that, but the reality is that there was such a shortage of labor, even with companies compromised during a recessionary market, the mass majority of our bottom line is still doing extremely well, which I'll explain to you guys why and how in just a few minutes as we talk about Home Depot, Lowe's, and where all this money and influx to the marketplace actually came from where it sits in people's bank accounts, where it sits, and not actually in their bank accounts, but where it actually sits, and explain to you guys how it's being utilized right now. Now, the labor market increased by 263,000 in November, following the gain of 284,000 in October. One of the things with labor and employment gains is this will help soften the ease of inflation. So we want to look at how with what's happening right now in the labor market and in employment is affecting our economics and how it relates to investing in real estate and what's happening with everything that's happening with the feds. Now, as we move into this 2023 market and we end the 2022 market, one of the biggest things we have to look at is where is 2023 going to be and where do you position yourself financially for investment purposes? And I always tell people, embrace the, the increased interest rates. They're not going to be here forever. And in fact, right now we're starting to see that the basis points went down from 75 basis points to 50 basis points, although we do know that the feds have already indefinitely stated that through the, the course of 2023, they're going to continue increasing interest rates. Now, my prediction is that they will continue to increase throughout the year. We'll start seeing a massive softening as we move into the summer of 2023. Right now, the rise of CPI, we're already starting to see the teeter-totter effect of inflation starting to soften slightly. Hence, the Federal Reserve just wants to make sure that these numbers are true numbers and it's not something that's monetary. And then we're going to start seeing the teeter-totter effect to go back the other way on the pendulum. Now we're back in a high inflationary market once again. Now, what did this inflationary market actually do for us? Well, one of the things is it took I'll tell you, lumber, we got beat up with lumber. So those of you guys who are buying and building, you guys are buying raw land and building, here is the incredible news about lumber prices right now. When you look back only 12 months ago, ladies and gentlemen, 12 months ago, and you look at January of 2022, the way lumber is priced is by 1,000 board feet. Okay, so when you look at the price per 1,000 board feet, just in January of 2022, the first month of the year, we were at over $1,450 per 
per 1,000 board feet. Now, if you look at that in December of 2022, just actually 11 months, not even a full 12 months later, we're at just under $450 per 1,000 board feet. So the cost to build in regards to lumber right now, and in spite of some of the other material costs, we are down by over $1,000 per board feet. That's a 200% decline in lumber prices just in the last 11 months. So great news for home builders and home remodelers. Now, according to Home Depot and according to Lowe's, one of the biggest things that has affected their bottom line in a positive direction has been the fact that people have stayed put in their homes and they're no longer going out looking for new homes because of the softening in the market. With interest rates increasing, homeowners know that they can't get the returns that they once could have a year ago by selling their home for profits. So the home buyers have sat back and said, you know what, we're gonna halt the selling process and we're gonna stay put right here. Now what's ironic is in 2008, I remember walking into Home Depot and Lowe's at a time where you used to see just months before the 2008 recession, you'd walk in there in early 2007 and it was, an, it was a madhouse, it was a zoo in every single one of them at eight o'clock in the morning with contractors and employees gallivanting the entire stores every single day to having to stand in line for 30 plus minutes just to check out and get your staff and employees out of Home Depot and Lowe's. And then all of a sudden it was a ghost town. December of 2008, moving into January of 2009, it was an entirely different dynamics. And then slowly as we moved into 2009, by April, May, June, Home Depot and Lowe's actually started to pick up in revenue and in business. And one of the largest contributors was the fact that people were not going out buying new homes in 2009 and 2010. They were sticking their money right back into their primary investment in the home that they actually lived in. So now, right now, the difference is, is that right now, there wasn't that downtime where Home Depot and Lowe's ever suffered. People are just sitting back going, whoa, this increase in interest rates is gonna make us stay put. And ladies and gentlemen, according, according to Black Knight, they're stating that over $11 trillion of tappable, meaning money that, that homeowners can actually take out of their homes, tappable home equity exceeds $11 trillion because there was a 40% jump in housing prices in just two years, ladies and gentlemen. 40% increase in housing prices in two years puts the U.S. economy with over $11 trillion of equity, tappable equity. That's just the tappable equity. And still leaving those home buyers with 20% of equity left in their homes after they tap this $11 trillion. Those are huge numbers. So what's happening on the average household, the average home right now has across the United States over $207,000 in tappable equity. Home Depot and Lowe's are up over 3% in stock values in month over month. And they're stating that this is because of what's happening right now with the equity standpoint that people have in their homes. Now, according to CoreLogix, Core Home prices still, right now, are 11.4% higher in October this year, in 2022, than they were in October of 2021 last year, meaning that home prices are still up by unprecedented highs in spite of what's happening with interest rates and in spite of what's happening in the housing market right now, giving home buyers leverage to be able to go out tap that home equity, be able to pull that money out and put the money back into their homes. So right now, in, in spite of home renovation and home building, typically in most normal markets running parallel to each other, meaning that if home building is on the high, so is home renovating and vice versa. And in this market right now, it's the opposite of that. Home building has trended slightly down because of the cost to build and because of high inflationary, um, because of high inflation and because of high interest rates. But now home renovating sector has actually trended sky high because of all this untapped equity that people still have in their homes because of what happened post pandemic. One of the biggest reasons 
that the economy right now is doing so well for Home Depot, Lowe's, and home improvement companies is because people are going to stay put and continue channeling money into their current residence. What does that mean for you fix and flippers? For you fix and flippers, that means that right now might be a good time to pick up some inventory to buy and hold, exercise the burst strategy to buy, to renovate because the price of, of materials is slowly starting to come down. Lumber is definitely down. And you could pick up investment properties for discounted prices, hold and retain them, lease them, rent them, short-term rental, do Airbnb. And then when the market starts to come to in the second half of 2023, but really in 2024, you could sell off, shed off that inventory and be able to make profits as you move into 2024, which is an election year, which traditionally interest rates go down and the market starts to stabilize. So for those of you guys that are sitting back right now wondering where you should invest and how you should invest or what type of business you should be in, you should be in the home renovating business. And I still believe that we offer the biggest sector of what I call the sweet spot in building that only taps the upper middle class, which constitutes for 24% of our U.S. population in home buyers, to be able to make sure that you can still maximize profits at a time where home prices are going down, home sales are going down, but yet inflationary values still hold market values higher than they were in 2019, where you can go out and still profit immensely from buying land and building houses or taking old homes, renovating them, and profiting. Just take advantage of what's already being dictated by Home Depot and Lowe's to be able to pad your bottom line and move into 2023 financially secure and solid in your business model. If you love the content, smash that thumbs up button, click and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video, our next market update, which I'm going to give you a little bit more at the end of this video to watch what's actually happening by the feds and how to predict what investment classes to invest into. There's two of them. Click above, watch some more footage, and I look forward to seeing you next time.